What would started five years ago came to an end today. The tale of the new Kilgore College pedestrian bridge, which officially opened this morning. You might remember an 18 wheeler hauling an oversized load hit the last footbridge back in 2019, forcing the unsafe bridge to be demolished, making way for a new one. KLTV 7's Jamie Boyum has our story. One. And that little snip of a ribbon by KC President Brenda Kays represented the last work on the new Kilgore College pedestrian bridge. We, of course, worked on it steadily uh, through COVID. Uh, the uh, plans and the dreams were brought to uh, fruition today with this ribbon cutting. Half a decade ago, the bridge was condemned, and TxDOT put in a crosswalk on Highway 259 for students and staff to get to the other side of the campus. It was a temporary measure only. Uh, motorists were still confused uh, with regards to how it worked. Even so, there were no accidents during the necessity of the crosswalk. It's good to be on the other side of it. RLM General Contractors Project Superintendent Johnny Owens agreed with that. He was in charge of putting it up, including the ADA compliant elevators. And yes, like most big projects, there were delays. There was a little little problem with the electrical. Not with Swepco. Swepco did wonderful. It was great to work with. We just had a few, few little hiccups in the electrical part, but we got it through it. He said there was also weather delays and a few other issues, but you got to work through work through all the problems, and some of them take weeks. He says it all comes down to safety and functionality, thus the extra time. A any job I, I do, I I'm proud of it. We don't want people walking across 259. We want people uh, walking over 259. Not a half hour before Case said that, some students made one last street level crossing of 259. But just after the ribbon cutting, a large group of students walked the bridge and Kilgore police put up barricades at the crosswalk. Those on campus will no longer push that button on the pole to get to the other side. Jamie Boyum, KLTV 7 News. And as you see there, that bridge was built with a cover to help keep it dry. There's also pedestrian fencing for added safety. The total cost of the project, $4.4 million. Insurance paid most of it, and the rest came from college reserve funds. And if you're wondering, maybe you could tell if you had your ruler out, this bridge is about three feet higher than the last one.